Hey makers, in this episode, I am going to talk about the new look that has been rolled out by Microsoft for managing the solutions. So, let's explore this entire new look with me. But before that, if you haven't followed me on Instagram so far, follow me using the ID Power Platform Guy. So, without wasting much time, let's get started and talk about new look for solutions. Here I am on my machine and here I have opened Power Apps Makers portal and I have opened the tab solutions. When you open this tab, you are able to see the solution preview is on by default. Now let's get started and talk about the new look. So here I have created one solution called employee onboarding process. So let me just click on that. And this is the first look for our solution. Over here we have left navigation, here we have a tree view and here it is showing us the details view. So let's get started with the left navigation. On the left hand side using this humbug bug icon you can easily minimize your left navigation. Left navigation has three important parts. The first part is the overview part where you have the detailed information about your solution. From here, you can easily publish your all the customization. You can export your package and do lots of other things from here. Now, second option is object option. Once you click on that, just after the left navigation, it is showing the tree view. Tree view is something which is showing all the objects that are available in the solution. With that, it is showing the number of objects for each category. So let's say over here into this solution, I have three tables, one sitemap, one process, three connection references, two cloud flow, two choices and one app. So it is showing me all the information over here. I can click on any of the thing from here and it will show us the detailed information over here. Right? Now, there are some another cool features also available into this objects property. You can easily search through anything using this search icon. Now let's say I just wanted to search for any of my designation table. So I just search here and it is showing me that one of the table is available with this search term. Also there is a flexibility for sorting and searching as well over here. You can filter by different type, different entity names, last modify, owner and lots more thing. So this is one of the cool feature I can say. Now let's move towards the third tab which is the history tab. So I am clicking here and at this moment I am not able to see anything because I haven't performed anything over here. But, but this history tab shows all the operations for your solution. It will show each activity row by row. When you click on any row, it will give you the detailed information about that. And that will help you to diagnose any errors you may have faced while running it. Now, let me talk about some another interesting and cool features for this object tab. So, first of all, new and add existing menu layout has been changed. Earlier there was a very long flat layout where everything was in a flat manner. So you need to scroll a lot and lot. Now Microsoft has revamped this particular thing. Now you have able to see the most used objects over here and from here you can choose the appropriate thing. So over here you can see there is a app section, there is a more section, there is a table section, dashboard section. So this looks really cool. And same way for add existing as well, the same thing has been improved over here as well. Second interesting thing is that show dependencies feature. So this is the one of the most useful feature when you are working with any solutions. Let's say for an example, this is one of my table and I just wanted to check the dependencies onto this table. I can simply click on show dependencies 
and it will show me all the dependencies on this navigation pen over here second important enhancement let's say for an example uh, now i don't need this particular table inside this solution and i just wanted to remove this so i'm just clicking on remove and delete from this environment so when i'm clicking on that it is asking for confirmation pop up and let's see if it is deleted perfectly or not so you can see that it is unable to delete this table because it is dependent on some another objects now earlier what happened here is this is something which is a very tedious and time consuming process now over here there is a also an option for view dependencies so what it will do is once you click on that it will show you all the dependent objects for this table so you need to go one by one with this object removing them and after that you you will be able to remove this particular object so this looks really cool another interesting enhancement that has been done for this automation part so earlier you were not able to add actions business process flow and workflow using the modern layout but now it has been possible over here and this looks cool also one more enhancement happened when you are creating a new table earlier it shows only limited options when you were using solutions now it has an advanced option where you have all the configuration property available inside this pop up now you can add another type of object which is web resources now web resource is something which is responsible to upload different type of code data or images into your solution so this is another object type that you can add into your solution now let me tell you one more important thing at this moment the new look of solution is in preview at this moment if you find some errors or if you find that you know this is something which is not working over here then you can move to the classic solution view as well for that simply need to click on this ellipsis and click on switch to classic and you are good to go also while using this solution if you find any error feel free to add and report to microsoft or add in the comment section now let's talk about some performance enhancement that has been done over here so the first enhancement is that in this tree view now it has a dedicated api and load in parallel to rest of the experience second important enhancement is in table loading time now whenever we click on table and try to open that it will be loaded in a very short time compared to the earlier one also the solution objects are cached by solution and by object list so you can navigate between the solution and between the object list in the solution and still see the greater performance also whenever you click on any object and whenever it try to load anything over here what happen here is once it is cached it is stored into that memory and any for any newly added items it will check in the background so you will check so you will see the greater performance effect over here as well now to feel more about this performance thing what you can do is just turn it on as a classic view and just try it out over there and measure the performance time and you will definitely feel that you know this new solution look is really cool in terms of performance as well so how do you feel about the performance for the new look for the solutions feel free to share your opinion in the comment section if you have any question feel free to add your question in the comment section and if you are for the first time subscribe my channel and if you are looking for hindi content subscribe my another channel as well looking for consultancy or anything else here are all the links that are available on my channel cover just go through that and click on this website and don't forget to follow me on my twitter and instagram to never miss any updates from me with this this is thruvin signing off see you in the next session with some amazing content till then have a great day goodbye